everyone. This is Melanie from Melanie B's Creative Studio. And I'm here today to do a review on a painting from eBay. So this paint by number I found on eBay, it matches the other rooster that I have done a review on that I had purchased from Amazon. And when I say it matches it, I mean it's the same style and I want to paint them both and put them up in my kitchen. So I found this one and this is the only place I've been able to find it. I went ahead and ordered it even though I knew it was gonna come folded. I just had this sick feeling in my stomach that it was gonna come folded and of course it did. I paid, I think I paid $20 for this. Um, I will put that information in the description below for you guys so you'll know how much I paid but I'm a little disappointed. If you pay 20 or $25, I really expect the canvas not to be folded. And I don't wanna to have to do any prep. You know, I don't wanna to have to iron. I don't wanna to have to tape down. I don't wanna to have to, you know, so it's just an inconvenience. So I am not sure about the quality of this piece. I thought we would just do some swatching and we will see what we think and if it's worth that money that I spent. So let me get myself a swatch guide and we're gonna open everything up and look at it and do some swatching. So for those of you who are not familiar with my swatch guide, um, it is something that I have digitally created and put on my website. And it is a digital, downloadable, reusable, printable, little handy tool for our swatches. So we can swatch our paints before we start, see which ones might need to be replaced from the very beginning. I think the name of this one is an inappropriate word in the United States. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put rooster <laughs> slash oil because it looks like an oil painting. Um, and then I'm gonna put from eBay. I will link you to the actual store on eBay in the description as well. So that if you wanna find this guy, you can. <laughs> So before we do any swatching, we're gonna open this up and check out the canvas and everything that's included. I'm gonna add the image of what he's gonna look like here. And let's open up our canvas and see what kind of quality we're looking at here. So let's talk about what's included in this kit. We have our reference guide. Everybody gonna say it with me? Say hallelujah. All right, this is our beautiful reference guide. We love them, we love them putting him aside. Our gorgeous paint palette, which has some terrifying colors in it. <laughs> and for those of you who've been paint my number and are watching my videos, you know what I mean by that. <laughs> All right, our color reference guide, our photo, and our canvas. Now, dark black lines, dark black numbers. So boo on that because they're harder to cover. The texture of the canvas does not feel like it's super deep, so I would say one or two gesso, clear gesso layers would be enough for this piece, possibly just one. It's a preference for you. It is not something I can tell you. It is just a matter of making sure the little nooks and crannies are completely filled so that they're flat when you paint. All right, so we're going to test these paints on this swatch guide that I've created because I'm nervous. But that's gonna make or break whether I would ever order from this company again. So it only has 18 in this palette. Grab some water with a paint puck. Normally I would not set it directly on my canvas, but it's going there for now. I have got my cosmetic wipe that is being reused that I will put right here because I am so cheap. I don't want to get a new one out until this one is completely dirty. <laughs> and we're going to use a good paintbrush that I have from the Golden Maple set that I've been using a lot lately. It is on Amazon. The set has five brushes in it. It is $11.99. It is so worth it. And that's the paintbrush I'm going to be using to swatch is the, is the number one or the number two round. This one doesn't have a label on it for some reason. All right, so I'm rinsing my brush and getting it back into a perfect position. Beautiful color, just a little bit scared. Okay, so let's talk about the texture of this paint while I'm doing this. Very thick, very hard to move. So definitely would add flow aid, but I add flow aid almost every time anyway. But it's pretty. I mean, you can see I'm really being careful filling in this little pot. I don't have to be careful. 
All right, but it's really beautiful. I'm very surprised at how well that covered. Now, once I've finished doing all of these, all 18, then, and I will fast forward this part, I'll go back and we'll look at the ones that have dried and we'll see which ones are showing the line through. So I have swatched all 18 of these paints on my swatch guide. And let's look now that they have dried at the ones are going to be transparent or semi-opaque. The ones that are always a problem are going to be a problem because yellow and golden yellow, like a golden ochre, is such a pain in the butt because there's not enough pigment in it. So you'll notice 17, nine, five, those are going to be um, a little bit of trouble. Once I put down gesso, it will hold the paint better. It may not be that bad, but I actually am more impressed with the paints and the coverage than I am anything because I expect yellows to be like that. When I pick a palette that has yellows in it, I am, I'm signing up for struggle. I mean, because yellows are so difficult. Even the Arteza yellows are just, you know, not the best coverage. So the best thing to do when you have yellows is to add a little bit of white to it, and sometimes that will help, or you do what you normally do, which is put down a layer of white paint first on the number and then let it dry and put the paint color over the top. But I do want to show you number one, number two, uh, and number 10. Those are beautiful greens. They covered really well, these two color colors especially. Number eight did as well. So actually I'm not as concerned about the quality of the paints as I was. The texture was really nice. Even though they were thick, um, they did have a good painting texture so that was good but anyway you know this is kind of a hit or miss because of the fact that it's folded it, it loses points um the fact that the paints are pretty good considering that yellows are always a, a pain and oranges that's it's, it's earning points it earns points for a photo that we can refer to and it earns points for a reference guide and this did not take as long as you would think to receive. I will put the dates of order and the dates of receipt in the bottom in the description with the link to the seller on eBay in case you are interested in any of their pieces. They did not contact me. I bought this out of my own pocket um, because I needed a partner for my other roosters. So there you go, you guys. I hope this was helpful for you and I will see you back very soon. Don't forget, subscribe, like, and share on my YouTube channel. Go join us at the group at Facebook. And I also now have a new Patreon account which will allow people to have uh, early access to my videos and lots of wonderful perks for your membership. Okay, I will see you back soon, you guys. Thanks as always for watching.